encoded is it's going to be encoded for MP3 players as opposed to Aug Vorbis, which is an open source thing that you don't have to worry about. <laughs> but that's awesome, but you don't need to worry about that. Um, okay, so the engineer has to go to this recording button and make sure to set up a saving folder uh, and that you don't want to save to Greg. So you want to create a new folder on the desktop, uh, create it and it says WIUN speaker series. <clears throat> you want to change the file name, simply I would make the file name the date of the event. Okay. Um, so that'll be 3-4-2014. And we'll, we'll make any changes to that file name as needed when we put it on websites for other people to download. So we'll make it like a podcast, okay? Um, Podcast-ish. It is a podcast, right? It's a, I mean, except for that we don't have a regular, usually podcasts are like every week, mm -hmm. but this will be every event. Um, so there's that. The main, so let's go back to main and um, stream infos uh, or server let's go to edit so um the name you'll change this to just uh, wiun mm -hmm. and the mount point will be something different but our address is hannibal.ucs.indiana.edu port is 80. i'll be sending the engineer the password um, okay that uh, i have it with me in the room so i'll give it to you um, but will we have to adjust this here? Yeah, and I'm, you, we use IceCast. That is kind of important just to make sure you know that we use IceCast and that is what's selected. Uh, it's just two different kinds of software for, making sure, for managing streaming. It does take a little bit of work to take a stream and make it happen because what's happening simultaneously, it's crazy all the stuff that's happening. You basically have analog input very quickly being mixed by a mixer into digital output, going into this computer, and then the computer is taking that and using this software to turn it into a special file format so that when people click on a link, they can listen to it live. Um, I'll show you where you do your testing at. So go to Chrome or Internet Explorer or, Micro or Mozilla Firefox, whatever your pleasure, your plaisir, votre plaisir, and um, you go to this page for the server. It's hannibal.ucs.indiana.edu. I know that's confusing right now, and I went really fast, and you're trying to write it down, but that's because it's already preset right there in the address uh -huh. for the software. You type that in, and now this is what it looks like when you bring it up. Click to listen. Oh, look, I'm listening to WIUN. Oh, yeah. Yay, that's us right now. <clears throat> okay, so that's your test. We know we're working. Now, um, if I can, I might try to go live today on a, on a mount point that nobody knows about, but that will show up here. So our talking will get recorded. Um, and basically the only microphone that we'll have working at the moment is this, this, this one here on channel two. Um, we're live. We're, we're not completely live. Make sure that this is set to two on the programming. Um, two means is room is set for room noise. It puts a small bit of uh, reverb, uh, but not a large bit. And so it's, it's, it sounds like a nice interview setting. Um, if you have this number, if it's showing program uh, 5, then the machine will automatically try to reverse all sounds because this is used for bands. And so you know when Brittany gets up there, well, and is auto-tuned or distorted on purpose, what they're doing is they're running her microphone and usually they have, it's a fancier board than this, obviously, but they have her being on the auto-tune setting for that. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Or, um, I don't know anybody else. Oh, uh, Daft Punk. Perfect. 
There's a perfect example. Daft Punk does that robot sound. Pharrell sounds clean, or um, maybe sometimes Pharrell has a little reverb added to him. He likes that. But, <clears throat> but, the, but the French guys, the old French dudes, sound like robots. What they have is a program as it's going out in the mix, <coughs> and it happens instantly. So since the Behringer is built for both um, light uh, band mixing, live music, as well as for podcasting, then <coughs> they have all sorts of things that we don't want to do. So that's there. Um, looking at your, at your, look at your thing. So we have gain, and gain is different from volume. Um, volume is met, is taken care of by a fader. Um, we've got EQ and compression, instant compression on the track. I would leave, test it out. Don't mess with effects. Make sure F effects is at zero, or else you'll get, you know, instant Britney. Like it'll sound like a Martian. Mm -hmm. Again, this board was built for so many different things. Um, <clears throat> I mean, see what you can do to keep your uh, lows, mids, and highs. If you can keep them in the middle, uh, but do adjust as you feel necessary for each um, thing. Most of your um, the, for some reason, the mute button doesn't really work on this. I keep trying it. I just bought it. It's new, and I'll call the warranty people, and they'll probably be like, you're stupid. And I'll be like, no, I'm not. I try the mute button. It doesn't work. Um, hopefully, you don't really have to mute anything. Just um, you probably will keep this turned off, for example, until it's needed. Um, pan, keep it center. We don't want you left and Ben right, <laughs> you know. There's no, we're not, um, if you listen to certain Beatles songs, you'll hear it only in the left side and then all of a sudden on the right <coughs> side. That's a really cool thing for like producing music, mm -hmm. but not for a show. Balanced, simple. People don't <coughs> want that kind of challenge. This isn't um, avant-garde work we're doing here. Um, and then really, you don't even have to, you can have one of the main mix all the way down because sadly, we're, we are stereo. Right, but it's just grabbing everything and compressing it out. So you do faders for volume, um, and you shouldn't have to do anything else. Any questions about this board at the moment? Yeah, I don't know if I missed it or, um, but record. I mean, how do you turn it on? Oh, there's a button in the back. Oh, okay. okay. Sorry. Um, there are two buttons here. Phantom power can be on if you need it. I don't know. Just might as well. And power is on. So off or on. <clears throat> What'll happen with IMS and their speakers is it'll go in here. One of these two. Uh, something like that. Um, instructional media services. Now, now, will we have an opportunity to? Um, I know you, you asked us to come in Monday and work with this. Work with this. Will have we have an opportunity to work yeah, with the, uh, this, this, all, this well. whole setup will be here. This so this, so we'll be able to drive this month. Yeah. Oh, okay. Good. Okay, because it's yeah, okay, yeah. cool. That was the last one. It's a lot yeah. of assimilation. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Right. Okay. All right. So this will be in here on Monday. And why don't we go live now? Let's figure out if we can do that. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm not going to use the WIUN mount point. Um, if you were to do the WIUN mount point, you would click on Team Viewer, and you would go to Streaming PC, double-click on that, and you'll get this, and you just, you get control of it. <laughs> See how I'm highlighting things? I can click on it if I want. I have outside access to this computer just by clicking on the Team Viewer. Okay. So, so I can shut that off. Okay, so you can remotely access the server for the WIUN. And well, I'm remotely asking, accessing this computer that has the software, so I shut them down. And then and I now she has control over the music, and you can play whatever you want. You can play that, or what you'll do is you'll go to this software. Come on. Why won't I listen to this? That, though, right? this, is, yeah, this is the engineer, and this goes for everything. You, you'll shut this down, and you can do the fade down if you want, because that's what this volume does. I just don't want to do it. Cause then I understand. Can, but fade down, and then you can use the, um, then you'll end up with this address here. 
you'll use the same address, um, WIUN forward slash WIUN. So that's your mount point. We're not going to use that mount point today. Okay? Um, and we don't have to have this on anymore. I just close and it, it advertises to me and I'm okay because this is for non-commercial use, educational, and they're not charging me. <clears throat> that was quick, dirty, I know, but Team Viewer software. There's a link to it. It's a shortcut link on the side. Finally, in my last minute, let's go live. Um, I've got the password set in there. I've got the port. I'm just going to create a mount port, and it's going to be WIUN class, okay? Um, and I'm going to save this. I'm going to name it WIUN class, and you're not going to use this because you're going to use the mount point forward slash WIUN. Um, I'm going to hit save, and when I go to settings, uh, I'm going to go to settings, come on settings. Okay. I'm going to go to settings, and then I'm at WIUN class already. Uh, you have to change the stream and post, but we'll, we, we won't worry about that right now. Um, let's just go live. To go live, you press play. And it's going to pick up anything on any microphone that's actually uh, working. So any of this stuff will pick you up. Will we be able to have a dress rehearsal before all that stuff happens? Before we actually. Before we start. I feel like I'm gonna have to have like this written down. Like, Me too. Well, I'm gonna send you this. So 